Welcome to Safe Option Strategies uh, presentation of how to succeed in today's stock market. My name is Jeffrey Dunyan. I am the owner and founder of Safe Option Strategies. And, I, you know, I, I know a lot of you that are watching this presentation right now, you've seen it before. Or you've seen one of my presentations before. Um, seems like a lot of folks come back and watch over and over again, and they kind of decide, is the timing right to maybe do something with these guys? Or can I learn something from what they're showing me here and, and and that's fine i'm glad to have you back if you're watching this for the for the second or third or fourth time if you've never seen one of our presentations then obviously this is all going to be new to you but for those of you that have seen this before i'm going to do something really different uh I, this is going to be a lot shorter presentation but i'm going to show you where you can look at a couple of other videos that go into some details on the strategies and the methods that we teach at Safe Option Strategies. What I want to do in this presentation is simply talk to you a little bit about uh, what you need to succeed in today's stock market. Um, the stock market is absolutely crazy right now. I mean, it has been for a while. We had the, the crazy wild sell-off that took place um, back at the beginning of the pandemic. Uh, just an absolute clobbering of the market. Biggest, fastest drop the market. Well, let me, let me say this the right way the fastest drop of this distance ever in the history of the US stock market. Never before has the stock market fallen this far in this short a period of time as what we saw at the end of last year. And then it seems like when, when you look at this, you know, this entire chart of where we're at right now today, you look at this and you think, well, yeah, it's been almost straight up since that time. I mean, we've just had this incredible run to the upside since the markets fell. But even this jump back to the upside has not been without some pretty scary times. The, this little sell-off right here just absolutely um, blew people away and frightened them. And, and, and it, it felt like we were starting to have a repeat of what happened that sent the markets in turmoil back in the end of February, first part of March. You know, of course, then we flattened a little bit, recovered nicely. Then we had this, uh, this sell-off right here, and this frightened people again. It, it felt like maybe another tipping point. Maybe we were going off that cliff again. We rebounded nicely. This just absolutely shook people. This was another one of those two, three-day drops that had the feel of what we got right back here. Uh, but then we recovered nicely from that. And, and you know, when, when you look at it over a longer period of time, you're, you're thinking, wow, what a you know, great recovery. And we actually finished the year of 2020 having traded to the upside. Uh, I believe the, uh, the Dow Jones Industrial Average was up about 7%. Uh, the S&P, uh, I think, was up around 12 or 13 percent. The NASDAQ was actually up 43 percent in 2020 after this crazy, wild pandemic drop that we had and this crazy year. But just look at what the last few days have done in the market. Look at the way, or even better yet, the last couple of weeks. Look at the way um, the, the Dow Jones had one of its worst weeks that it's had uh, since the pandemic and then rebounded from it almost instantly. And, and let, me, let me clear these marks off of here and just show you right here, if I can hurry and get there. If you just go right here and look, sorry, it's taking me a second to get there. If you just go right here and you look at, at last week, where at the end of the week, we just had this big sell-off. I mean, this was a really ugly couple of days. And then it started to bounce back from that over a couple of days. And then a couple more days that it sold off a little bit. And, you know, we're, we're having these swings of, of two, three, 400 points from the highest to the lowest point. And, and it's just volatile and it's crazy. Um, it, it's, it's hard to trade the markets the way they are right now and be consistent in, in getting a profit. And, you know, when, when people, when we have this long bullish run, even with these hiccups, even, even though this scared some people and, and there were some hiccups along the way, even with these little hiccups like this, when you get a run like this, that's bullish, everybody becomes an expert. Everybody knows what they're doing. And, and everybody thinks they've got everything figured out. They, they know what technical indicators to look at. They know when to, to get into stock. They know when to sell stock. They know when to use options. I mean, look at the stuff that's gone on the last couple months with, uh, with Robinhood and with GameStop and, and AMC, the, the movie theater company, and uh, Nokia and BlackBerry. I mean, just these crazy, crazy moves that you've had with some of these stocks and then with some of the stuff going on on social media. It's getting more and more difficult to trade these markets and to continue to profit. When I talk to people 
and I have conversations with people every day. I've, I've run safe option strategies now for over 15 years. I, I have taught thousands of people around the country and around the world uh, how to how to be better in their trading and, and, and how to get really good and make really good profits in the stock market. But there's things that almost everyone struggles with, even those that have been trading for quite some time. They struggle with consistency. Uh, they struggle with timing. You know, what's, what's the best time to get in and get out? And how do I know when that time is? It's easy to look back on a chart and say, oh, well, here's when it was at its lowest and this would have been a good time to get in. And then you say, oh, here's when the stock was at its highest. That would have been a good time to get out. But how do you know when that's actually happening? How do you know that a, a big move down today gives you the perfect opportunity to get in and that it's not going to move down twice that much tomorrow? Uh, and how do you know at, at the end of a couple of days of upward movement if it's a good time to get out? And, and you just, you know, timing is, is so critical. The biggest thing that creates problems for people who want to manage and trade their own portfolio and who want to make income in the stock market and who want to do really well in the stock market and build a bigger retirement. The, the thing that most of them struggle with is what do I do when I'm wrong? What if I'm wrong on that timing? What if I pick the wrong trade? What if I pick the wrong stock? What do I do when things go against me? Do I just bail out and take losses? What if those losses start to add up to a, a lot more than anything I've gained? And that's one of the, the most critical things that, that you can – that can go wrong is not knowing what to do when a trade goes wrong. And, and then one of, the, one of the other things is that there, there's so much information available to us. There, there is so much out there in, on the internet. There, there's uh, stuff out there on uh, television, and you have books, and, and you have companies like mine – you know, quite honestly, companies like mine that are trying to, to teach you something or, or sell an education program or package, and it's like, who do you listen to? Uh, one of the things people struggle most with is who to listen to. Because, you know, it's funny, you can turn on the TV, and I, I find myself going back and forth between CNBC and Fox Business News. And, and you know, in the morning before the market opens and, and uh, a, you know, a couple of times during the day and at the end of the day, I kind of flip back and forth between these channels. And you know how fascinating it is to me to find two or three or four experts that are all commenting on what the stock market is doing and why it's doing that. And they're all incredibly different, all incredibly different on what they're telling you is happening and what's going to happen next or why it's happening. And, and these are all allegedly experts. And it's, it's absolutely crazy. So I'm going to cover each of these things really quickly. This is going to be a short presentation. Uh, I'm going to show you in this presentation where to get some more details on some of the strategies and some of the things that we teach in our education program. But let me address these things with you and tell you why it's so critical that, that you overcome these obstacles and overcome these struggles. I'm going to start with consistency. Um, I've got the definition of consistency. I just pulled this off the internet. Conformity in the application of something. Typically that which is necessary, and this is the key part, necessary for the sake of logic, accuracy, or fairness. Isn't that interesting that, that we're trying to incorporate consistency into being accurate? And that, that just ties in so perfectly with what stock and option trading is all about. Uh, if, if you haven't experienced this firsthand, if you are not a victim of this in the past, I'm going to tell you right now, one of the biggest portfolio killers is inconsistency. You start learning some strategies. You start learning the way some options work. You start learning the way to use options in combination with stocks, or you start learning some spread trading, and, and you start figuring things out, and you place a trade, and you make a nice profit on it, and then you try and compound those, those earnings, right? You try and take the profit from that first trade, and you add it to what you originally started with, and so your next trade, you got a little bit more money involved there and and you do this a second and a third time and you're doing great and profit is coming and you just you love the way everything is going and then you have a trade that turns against you and it turns against you quickly and and if if you want an example of how fast this can happen and how devastating this can be go look at a recent stock chart of Amazon go look at a recent stock chart of Nvidia or Tesla or, or Roku um, pick some of these big tech stocks that have dominated the market and had three, four hundred percent gains in the last couple of years. Look at Netflix 
And look at how fast one of those stocks can turn and go the other way when you think you've made your fourth or fifth good pick in a row and how much that can kill you. And you know how often I hear people talking about three out of four or four out of five or five out of six trades go their way. And yet that one in five, that one in four, that one in six or eight or whatever it is, has them down overall. Because when a stock goes against you, especially if you're option trading, especially option trading, if a stock goes against you, boy, it can just wipe you out in the blink of an eye. And it happens all the time and it happens quickly. You've got to learn to overcome consistency. And, and I'll, I'll show you a couple of ways that you can do that. Timing, let's talk about timing for a minute. The choice judgment or control of when something should be done. Isn't hindsight a great thing? We, like I said, we always look back at these charts and say, oh, that's where I should have bought in. Or that's where, that's where I should have gotten out. Or this is when I should have made an adjustment to a trade. Um, timing is everything in the market. And the better you can learn to get on your timing, and I'm going to teach you something right now. Most of this, most of this presentation that you're watching is kind of an introduction to what we do at Safe Option Strategies. But I'm going to give you an actual lesson right now and teach you something. And, and if nothing else that you watch in this presentation um, is, is of interest to you, I hope it is, obviously. But if nothing else that you watch is of interest to you, I want you to pay very close attention to this. There are uh, there are thousands, hundreds thousands of combinations of technical indicators that people can look at. You can look at Fibonacci retracements. You can look at Bollinger Bands. You can look at stochastics. You can look at, at volume. You can look at um, chandelier exits. You, I mean, there's just all these different technical indicators that you can put together. But do you know what most people look at in the stock market today? This includes brokers. This includes hedge fund managers. This includes the, the, the people uh, at, at Goldman Sachs and, and J.P. Morgan Chase and Bank of America. This includes these people that are that are managing billions and in some cases trillions of dollars of money. Do you know what most of them look at? Most of them look at when the RSI, the five and twenty day moving average, and the MACD are all pointing in the same direction at the same time. And do you know? that when that happens, when they're all pointing in the same direction at the same time. Now, in this example that I'm showing you right here, the MACD gave us what's called a, a technical crossover first, and it happened right down here. And it's when one of those lines crossed over the other line to the upside. And then the five and 20 day moving average crossed right here and the RSI crossed this middle line, the, the dotted line there in the middle is the middle line. And when all of those things happened, they didn't all happen on the same day. They didn't all happen in the same week. But when they all lined up with each other and all three were pointing the same direction, you know what we got? At least two weeks, okay, I want you to keep this in mind, at least two weeks or 2% or both took place. So in other words, after this crossover, the stock price went up for at least two weeks, even if it was only up slightly, or it went more than 2% to the upside, or it did both. And when you get these same three technical crossovers happening in the other direction, you typically get two weeks or 2% or more in that new direction. So even though it wasn't more than a 2% drop, this crossover kept the price of the stock down for a little over two weeks. In fact, it was almost three weeks right here. And then when we got that next set of indicators, we either got two weeks or 2% or both of upward stock movement. And this repeats itself over and over and over again. Even this quick reversal right here, it, it just it crossed over, and just in a matter of a short period of time, it crossed back to the upside. But even this was two weeks, almost to the day, two weeks in between, and that initial drop was a little over 2%. Now, think about this. The RSI, the 5- and 20-day moving averages, and the MACD. If, if you learned nothing else from this presentation, but you started – putting every move that you made with a stock or an option, if you started doing it 
based on these three technical crossovers, you're going to be right somewhere in the neighborhood of 80% of the time. Because historically, 80% of the time, when all three of these cross, not at the same time, but when they're all start pointing in the same direction together, you get 2% or more or two weeks or more of movement in that direction. And it is absolutely a fantastic way to trade. If you want to get better at your time, now, there's a lot of other technical indicators that we look at. We look at levels of support and resistance when we're deciding what trade to place. Uh, we look at volume. We look at the news that's driving things. There's more than just this that you want to learn and that you want to look at. But from a timing perspective, if you got really good at following the timing on these three things, you're going to outperform 75% of the people that try and trade the markets. Now, no matter what we do, no matter how good our research is, no matter how good our due diligence is, no matter how many indicators we're following, whose advice we're following, there's always a chance we enter into a trade and we can be dead flat wrong on what we think that trade is going to do. What do you do when you're wrong? This is probably the thing that hangs up more people in, in being consistently profitable in the market than anything else is what do I do when I enter a trade and then it seems like sometimes almost in the blink of an eye, I'm wrong. And, and I'm going to tell you what you need to do and then I'm going to show you a way you can learn a little bit more about this. You've got to learn how to adjust trades. Okay, Everything we do at Safe Option Strategies, everything we do boils down to how to adjust trades. Now, we, we teach a lot more than that at Safe Option Strategies. We teach people how to select a good trade. We teach people how to select the best timing to try and get into that trade. We teach you how to calculate your, your risk to reward ratio. We teach you how to pick a good target exit. We teach you all the stuff you need to know. If you wanna be a really great trader and really consistent and really profitable in the market, we can teach you how to do all of that stuff at, straight, at Safe Option Strategies. But if you want to outperform the market consistently and you want to make the maximum possible profit that you can make in the market, what you've got to do is learn how to adjust trades. And whether that's collar trades or whether that's spread trades, whether that's strictly doing a buy and hold and then using options to maybe protect the position, whatever, whatever you're into. You've got to learn how to adjust trades. Now, a lot of times, if you've seen one of these presentations of mine before, a lot of times I will take some time right now and I'll show some examples of some collar trades and I'll show some examples of some spread trades and how to fix them. And I'll, I'll kind of give you a preview of that. I'm going to do this a little bit different. On this web page, on our website where you're watching this presentation, okay, here's the presentation you're watching right now. Right down below this, there's a really short class, a really short video that will teach you why collar trading is so critical and why it's so important to learn how to collar trade if you want to have the absolute maximum protection you can have in a portfolio and, and still make some really good profits. If you don't want to own stock, because that's what a collar trade involves, is owning stock and, and using short calls and long puts in conjunction with the stock ownership. If you don't want to own stock, but you just want to trade options, you've got to watch this video. This is also a very short video that deals with adjusting and why adjusting option trades is so critical. So I'm not going to go into either one of those right now, but those are both very, when you're, when you're done with this presentation, there's a couple of very short videos that you can watch that will teach you a little bit more about uh, making adjustments and, and about collar trading and how profitable it can be. Uh, let me cover the last one of those bullet points that was at the beginning of this presentation. Who do I listen to? Now, I want you to look at this definition. Obviously, I just, I pulled the definition of advice off the internet. And I had never, uh, until just recently, I don't think I'd ever read the definition of advice. I knew what advice was. I just don't think I'd ever read the definition. Guidance or recommendations offered with regard to prudent future action. This is the part that I don't think I would have 
known was part of the definition of advice. Now think about this. Who do you listen to? Do you listen to someone who has your prudent future action in interest when you take advice from them? Or do you listen to someone who has an opinion who at the end of the day really could not care less about your success? Now, I'm not, I'm not going to say anything negative about the TV personalities that I listen to. Uh, there's some people that I love to listen to. Some of them I find entertaining. Some of them I, I, I really like the things that they say and I learn a lot from them. But I don't know these people. I have absolutely no confidence that when they share their opinion about something, they really care whether or not what comes out as advice is going to be with my future in mind and what I do with that. At Safe Option Strategies, in addition to teaching people all the different ways you can trade stocks and options and how to pick the best strategy and the best stock and, and, and how to create an adjustment strategy in case you're wrong, in addition to doing all of that, one of the things that we've gotten really good at at Safe Option Strategies is sending all of the members of our program trades that they can follow on a regular basis. Okay? trades that you can consistently follow. As people are learning how to do the, the strategies that we teach at Safe Option Strategies, uh, we provide you with trades. And, and going back the last seven, eight years, here's how we have outperformed the stock market. With the exception of 2013, with the exception of 2013, Every year that we've issued trades to our students and given them picks and given them advice on what to trade, we have more than doubled the highest of the three major indexes. When the NASDAQ did 38% this year, we weren't quite double that. We were almost double what the Dow did, but every year since then, the trades that we've provided to our students have more than doubled what the highest of the three indexes produced in terms of results. And I got to tell you, even though last year our combined portfolios showed a profit of 118% and the year before 92%, you know, these are the two years that I am absolutely the most proud of. These aren't the two best performing years of these last eight years, but these are the two that I'm most proud of because in both of these years, 2015 and 2018, the Dow Jones Industrial Average was negative on the year and the S&P was either incredibly flat or negative and we still made some phenomenal profits in the trades that we sent out to the members of our program. Now, when it comes to who to listen to, why don't you listen to someone who has your success in mind. So far this year, we are up 13% in, in option trading and 4.5% in stock and collar trading. And the Dow, the NASDAQ, and the S&P 500, this is about where they're at. So we're already, we're already outperforming by more than double what the market averages are. And we're only a couple of months into this calendar year. This is what we do. Folks, those other two short videos, the one that has to do with collar trading, the one that has to do with spread trading, I hope you'll take a little bit of time to look at those so you can get a feel of, of the actual strategies that we teach people and get a little bit of an insight into how we teach people. But let me tell you this, I, I, I believe that the reason you're taking time out of your schedule to watch this presentation is because you want to improve your trading or you're thinking about managing your own portfolio for the first time. I, I believe you're in one of those two categories or you wouldn't be taking time to watch this presentation. Let me tell you something that I'm a big, huge believer in. It's been on the screen for the last few seconds. Feed a man a fish and you feed him for a day. Teach a man to fish and you feed him for life. I could, I could put out at Safe Option Strategies an advisory service, and in the process of putting out an advisory service, you could follow all the trades that I do, 
And I believe based on my track record, you could make a lot of money and it would be a relatively easy thing to do. But all I would be doing is feeding you a fish and as soon as something goes wrong and you can't get a hold of me quickly, or if I got sick for a couple of days or, or took some vacation time, you, you could potentially be lost. If I teach you how to do this and help you get really good at it, then, then you're going to be in absolutely great shape. And, and that's what we do at Safe Option Strategies. But I always felt like this saying was missing one very important thing. What happens if the man starves while he's learning to fish? One of the things we do at Safe Option Strategies in the process of teaching people how to become better stock traders, better option traders, how to adjust trades when they go against you, how to make some phenomenal profits in the stock market, we, we do a couple of things. We provide you with a lot of education. We have over 60 streaming classes that make up our education, teaching you everything you need to know about opening your first brokerage account, if you haven't done that already, all the way up through uh, complex option strategies, how to research stocks, how to research companies, how to pick the best trade at the best time and the best exit strategy. We have a tremendous amount of education that we provide you with. If you decide that safe option strategies is a good fit for you in the way of investment education, but we also have multiple trades that we send out every week that you can either follow for learning purposes or you can do the trades at the same time we do them. We send these out in a way that they're easy to follow even before you completely understand them. I've had people join our program and, and within the first week they're in the program, they're placing a couple of trades and they're telling me, I don't even understand what I'm placing. But we, we help them learn what they're doing, why they're doing it, how to do it again, uh, and they make money at the same time. So we're, we're teaching you how to fish and we're feeding you fish at the same time so that you stay fed while you're learning how to feed yourself. Every day we do classes where we talk about the markets and the trades that we're in, and what we're going to do next. Uh, we have a daily open chat room that we help people with. Real support from real traders. Folks, if, if you want to get really good or, or really truly improve what you've been doing up until now in the market, we can help you do that. And, and we can help you do it in a way that you would be so glad that you join Safe Option Strategies. Now, Here's that same chart that I had on the screen earlier, the, the big, huge drop we had at the beginning of the pandemic. You, you can tell when the, the economy began to shut down. You can, just, you can see it right there. But I want to tell you that one, of the, one of the saddest stories that took place over this past year, and, and it's just, it goes back a little farther than a year, but it's, it's an absolute heartbreaking story. I'm going to share it with you anyways, because I think it's important. I had a gentleman call me right at the end of October, a year and a few months ago. I guess we're maybe maybe even close to, not quite, but almost a year and a half ago. He called me. He had looked at a presentation like the one you're watching right now, and we explained what we do at Safe Option Strategies and how we can help make a lot of money and all this good stuff. And, and he, uh, this gentleman had in the neighborhood, he told me he had around $300,000 in the stock market and it was his entire life savings and he was retired and he needed to grow this money and live off it for however much longer he lived. I believe the gentleman was in his late 60s, um, but really nice guy. I had a great conversation with him, but at the end of the conversation, he said, your education program is just too expensive. Now, at that time, don't let this scare you away because I'm going to show you some pricing information that I think you'll be really, really impressed with. At that time, our full lifetime package for our program was being discounted to $2,500, okay? He had $300,000 in the market, and he felt like this was too expensive. Now, there's a lot of ways to participate in our education for less money, but this, this was the whole program, lifetime membership, all the bells and whistles, and we had discounted it all the way down to $2,500, and he said, it's too much money. It's just too much money. And I said, okay, that's fine. I, you know, it, it maybe not the right fit, maybe not the right timing, or maybe just not the right price. And I wished him the best of luck. 
And he called me again about a month later after these couple of days where the market dipped down a little bit. And he was asking me some questions. So if I would have done your program, you know, would it have kept me? He had lost a few thousand dollars and, you know, on this dip. And would this have kept me from losing money? And I tried to explain to him how we could have done a couple of things that might have prevented him from seeing a loss there. But then over the next couple of months, that there was a big rebound and the market just continued to push up to new all-time highs. He called me again, and I kind of blocked it with that arrow, but he called me again after this little dip down right here, right at the end of January of last year. Now, at this time, there was a little bit of talk about COVID-19. There was this mystery disease that, that had started over in China, and there was some worry about, is it going to come to the United States? And, and I think uh, that, that might have been around the time that there was a ban on travel coming from China and all the debate that took place over that. But it really hadn't hit the United States yet. It really hadn't hit us hard in most of the rest of the world. And he called, but he called me after these couple of weeks in January that were down, and we had the same conversation. And you know what? He, he, he told me the same thing right here that he told me right here, and they told me right here, and our, our education was just too expensive. It was just too expensive. Next time I got a call from him, from the time this thing started turning in the pandemic to right about here, he called me, and from here to here, he had lost about $35,000. And remember, this is the guy that said $2,500 was too expensive for what we were going to teach him. He lost about $35,000. I felt bad for him. I wasn't, I wasn't making fun of him. I wasn't saying, I told you so. I wasn't, didn't want to make him feel bad at all. I just said, man, we, could have, we probably could have saved you from losing a lot of that money. He called me again, not, not right on this day when it got to the lowest, but somewhere right around here when we were pretty close to the bottom and we'd had a couple of big up days, but then more big down days in the market. And folks, his $300,000 portfolio right down around here was down to about $170,000. He had lost about $130,000 of that. And I asked him, why, why didn't you get out back here? Why didn't you get out right here? I mean, if you're not going to learn to do the stuff that we do to protect your portfolio and adjust trades and learn to profit from a situation like this instead of losing money from it, why weren't you getting out at those different times? Well, it would go down for a couple of days and then it would have a big day back to the upside and he thought it was turning the corner. And then there was another huge drop. But then right after that, there was a big, huge up day and he thought it was turning the corner. And finally, he just gave up on it right here and went all to cash. Now, that's pretty brutal that he lost 130,000 out of a hundred or out of a $300,000 portfolio. Pretty devastating that he lost all that money. That's not the saddest part of the story. Look at the recovery we had since this thing hit the bottom back in, in March and April of last year. Look at that amazing recovery. That market skyrocketed up. Do you know what he did? He was a little too panicked over everything that had happened down to this point. Everything that had cost him down to here, he was a little bit panicked. So he didn't get back in until there were several weeks in a row where things were kind of felt like they were steady and kind of moving back up. And he got back in right about here and he bailed out again after these two big, huge down days in a row right here. So he got back in here and got out again here. Sat out this entire period right here. And then finally, when things started to go up, he got back in here, got spooked again and bailed out down here. Got back in and made a little bit of money here, gave up almost every penny of it here. Got back in, made a little money here, gave up every dime of it right here. Finally got back in right about here and a conversation I had with this same gentleman just the other day, two, three days ago, had a conversation with the same gentleman. He lost $130,000 going down to here, he's picked back up about 20,000 of it. In spite of how this thing skyrocketed the upside. And what's sad to me about this story, two things are sad to me about this story. Number one, 
when things were good and things were going up and he was making a lot of money, he could have learned how to protect all of it using the strategies that we teach at this company. He could have learned to protect it all. Folks, we lost nothing in this drop right here. And we equaled the profits of the recovery and then some. I could have shown him how to do it. That to me is not the saddest part. The saddest part is that he got he got gun shy and got spooked. And and I don't blame him for that. A lot of people did. He got you know after a few days of recovery, he got really spooked when this happened. After a month and a half of recovery, he got spooked on a little move right here. This ruined him. After a massive run up, a strong massive run up for three four weeks, he got really spooked on two days right here, and took a took another loss as a result. That was the saddest part of the story to me. We could have saved him from all of that. Let me show you one more chart. Folks, this is a chart of 2008. The last time the three major indexes saw losses of 50% or more from the most recent highs was back in 2008. You know, we have only had two times since 2008 where the markets have seen anything more than a 20% correction. It happened at the end of 2018. In the fourth quarter of 2018, we had a pullback from the most recent highs, almost exactly 20% down in that fourth quarter of 2018. And then of course we had the 35% drop that came as a result of the pandemic in, in March and April of last year, mostly in March. Almost that entire drop took place um, starting about the end of February and through the month of March. Those are the only two times in 12 plus years that we've even come back 20%. But things are changing right now in our economy. A lot of stocks have become way overvalued. There are some economic things going on that may bring us back around to something more similar to 2008. I think we have a much better chance of a repeat of 2008 than we have of a repeat of last year, where maybe we get a big drop, but we get a really big recovery. I think we're setting at the perfect precipice for a repeat of 2008. And I can show you not only how to not lose money under those circumstances, but how to profit in those conditions. Okay, at Safe Option Strategies, we have several different trading courses that you can purchase. Um, we've got all of them discounted right now. If you do the annual program, they're all discounted by 50%, and, and we'll probably run that promotion for a little while. But if you want to get in on an additional discount that we are offering right now, uh, and it's and it's limited to uh, it's limited to the first few people that want to take advantage of it, you can either email us or call us or scroll down below this this class that you're watching. Stay on the web page that you're on and scroll down below this class and fill out this information. It says fill out this little form. Please send me more information. Only put your phone number, only enter your phone number if you want someone here to call you. But give us a name and an email address. Um, ask any questions you have if you want to. But either either email or call us or fill out this form, and I'll tell you how to get an even better discount than this right here. And in the meantime, uh, if you would like to, um, if you would like to look at a little bit more detail on how our collar trading works, how our spread trading works, and and get a feel in, in some detail for what we're teaching in these programs, check out either one of these videos that are right below. This is the one you're on right now. Check out either one of these that's right below the one that you're at right now and learn a little bit more about why collar trading is so effective to, to lower your risk and, and produce really nice rewards. Why, if, if you're an option only trader, why adjusting trades is critical to your success.
take a look at either one of those and then reach out to us and get a hold of us if you have any interest. And, and I'll make you a pretty phenomenal offer above that 50% off that we're doing on those annual memberships. And we'll teach you how to get really, really profitable. You remember early in this presentation, well, maybe not early, maybe partway through the presentation, I asked the question, who do I listen to? Listen to the people that are producing the actual results. Listen to the people that can help you make these kind of returns in your portfolio. And we can help you do that at Safe Option Strategies. I'm going to wrap up right there. I hope we hear from you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.